stone right and definitely knows a lot about Greninja. I know if you tune into the stream regularly, then you will probably you probably have seen his fancy footstool combos and whatnot that he pulls off every now and then. Some hype stuff, so maybe we'll see some of that in here. Sonido should better have his tech tech game on point. So we're going to start on Smashville. Winner semis. Winner goes on to face me in winner's finals. So right now, just feeling each other out. And both of these players are actually super aggressive. Um, I think the only... I don't think uh, Guy Fighter and Sunido have played. Uh, the only Sonics that Guy Fighter has played are... Me and Wrath, well, I guess if you count High Dumpster, but he doesn't actually main Sonic. But uh, his exposure, his experience against Sonic is mainly against campy ones. So this is definitely a new experience. And right now, not really working out. Sonido doing a very good job early on. But God Fighter finally going to get something going. And not going to try to go up there with the chase. All right, nice. Good air dodge. Gonna need a lot more of that if he wants to bring this back, though. Tries to get the ISDJ to. Oh, that was a pivot grab. That was definitely a pivot grab. I don't imagine that um, forward tilt was intentional. And nice! Good tech right there by Sunido, but gets hit anyway, and Guy Fighter has brought this back. Sunido needs to clean up the stock in a hurry, or all his. Uh, Early lead will be for nothing. Nice forward air right there by Guy Fighter to get him back off stage. Smashville platform coming in clutch for Sunido. And good roll right there by Guy Fighter. So a word of advice, if you're playing against Sonic, as Guy Fighter takes the first stock, if you're playing against Sonic, if you can avoid spin dash without shielding, do it. Because if you if you shield it, great, you don't get hit by it, but you're in shield stun. But if you, some, if you manage to avoid it without shielding, then you don't have to deal with shield stun, and you'll be able to go for a punish on Spin Dash a lot sooner. So right now, we have we have Guy Fighter now in the lead, and Sunido really wants his back throw. He has not been able to get it. He'll get it right here. And Smashville's, Smashville has very short side blast zones, so that will be it for that stock. Nonetheless, Guy Fighter still doing a really good job in staying in this match. Nice, just grabs him right out of the spin dash, good call out. Nice. Sunido knew he was trying to punish the whiffed second hit of up air and went in for that grab. And right now, Sunido taking just the slightest of leads right now. And nice. Tries to go for the double up air. And Sunido back in the lead now. Let's see if he can close out the stock this time. I can't, oh, Guy Fighter missed a big punish right there. When Sonic is laying on the ground like that after a homing attack, then you have a ton of time to punish. You can take your sweet time. <gasps> and the Shadow Sneak, Guy Fighter, steals game one from Sunido, the reverse edge guard, and one game away from winner's finals is Guy Fighter. So I definitely thought Guy Fighter died right there. I thought he got scooped up with a back air and Thought he got scooped up with the back air and sent off the stage, but that is not the case. And Guy Fighter is the one with the 1-0 advantage. Now, last match we actually saw Sunido lose a very close game one and bring it back to and bring it back to brought it back to eventually win the set with back-to-back -back two stocks. So Sunido obviously very very good at adapting. So let's see uh, if we'll see any of that this set. All right, nice. Gets the back air right there, lots of damage. And gonna punish the counter. Uh, very ill-advised right there by Guy Fighter. Son a lot of Son most Sonics play, do play react more of a reactive game, even if they're not super campy like Wrath or any other campy Sonic. Even if, even if they're quote unquote aggro, most Sonics still play a reactive game. So counters are super duper bad against Sonic because most Sonics are just going to wait for you to do something, and then they're just... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, the Air Dodge Read! Guy Fighter! Is going to take the first stock again with a beautiful combo. 
And Sonido won't, won't be in that bad a position if he can take the stock now, but he's having a hard time. Back throw won't kill yet. If he can get an F smash or a back air next to the ledge, then he'll be okay. And okay, Magna Hand's coming in clutch for Sonic. And fiending for these back throws right now is Sonido. All right, jab, jab, to dash attack. Okay. Doesn't try to chase. Doesn't try to give chase, which I can understand. He's on his last stock. Doesn't want to die to any shenanigans. Sonido with the magical Super Saiyan percent. Let's see if he can make something happen. Take the stock. He does, and right back in it. Also takes a few Sonic spin dashes, and Sonido will even this up in a hurry. Okay. All right, good job by Sonido. Good air dodge, good DI away to avoid that up smash. Nice. With the perfect shield on the shuriken and then the aerial to get a nice grab punish. The up throw nair. Oh, one of Sonic's bread and butter punishes. And we're going to see the up throw. Tries to read an air dodge, but Guy Fighter not giving it to him. And bad down air right there. Lots of lag if you land on the ground. Pro maybe looking for a setup to just go ahead and end this game out of a footstool. Because down air is what set ups a lot of the footstool stuff. And Sonido, unsurprisingly, bringing this all the way back. Nice by Guy Fighter, avoiding that spring. But Sonido's pressure, relentless right now. But the up smash is going to quell all of Sonido's momentum. And Guy Fighter will move on to winner's